I am so pumped to be here. I mean, look, we got paradise all around uh, here in Hawaii. We've got so many awesome Red Bull athletes here, and we're going to basically try to hold our breath until we pass out. Everything about this project makes me nervous because I'm not good at swimming and I'm not good at holding my breath. One of my biggest fears is holding your breath for so long that you do pass out underwater. Uh, all I know is that I'm really bad at holding my breath, so it's going to be tough. I haven't had much experience in going you know, deep under the water or in general holding my breath for that sort of long period of time. Um, hopefully I don't pass out, yeah. It's really cool to see where you take people who have a high degree of water ability and some people have absolutely no water ability and to see what you can squeeze out of them. 30 seconds to get down, 30 seconds to get back up. So a total dive to 100 foot and back up is about a minute. When we jumped in the classroom, it was a lot of new knowledge that I never had before and it was actually comforting to find out all this new information. Kirk doesn't just tell us, okay, this is how you hold your breath. He explains everything into great detail and that helps you to relax but also then stay down longer and push yourself through these little barriers. The training in the pool was fun. It was definitely a lot of work. You know, we were working with our partner, figuring everything out. It was cool just to get everyone in a small group and really practice all the strategies we're going to take into the ocean, in the pool, in a safer environment. Looking strong, 445. Up, breathe, breathe. Breathe. Lower. <laughs> Probably four of us that are really close, so I feel like when this uh, competition starts getting a little tougher, I know this as a personal thing, and it's all about the emotional chi, but I'm just here to win, so. Yeah, the pool to the ocean was definitely kind of a big jump. Uh, we take the boat out, and it's cool to just go totally out of your comfort zone into the ocean. Stuff goes wrong in water, it's generally a lot more devastating than on land, so I'm definitely freaking out a little bit. You know, I'm really excited about going down 100 feet. However far somebody else goes down, I want to go down further. We've been running these surf survival projects for several years, and the real beauty of this project is that it gives the athletes an opportunity and it's up to the athlete to sit down and get their head sorted, get their mind around the game, and then really figure out how they're going to approach the targets they set for themselves. I'd get nervous or freak out just a little bit, but when I relaxed and tried to focus on every muscle on my body, just totally relaxing, I ended up going an extra 20 feet. To be under the water and, you know, just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper is, it's a pretty cool, special place. It's just so relaxing, and in order to get to those lower depths, you have to be even more relaxed. <laughs> Had the time of my life and probably the most fun I've ever had underwater and we've been building up to getting our feet on that bottom of the ocean for the past four days so just hoping really that I had enough breath left that when I touched my feet on the floor I could still make it back up to the top again. Four of us reached the bottom so it was definitely a pretty exciting day. What's really powerful is you've got this physiological limit in terms of how long you can hold your breaths and you've got this idea in your mind about how far and how deep you're going to go and all you're doing all week is banging up against that limit. Each athlete takes something very specific to them. If you're a little anxious, you've got to deal with it. If you're a little uncertain, you've got to relax. And what that does is allows them to take that out into their sport in really practical ways. Everybody comes in from all different sports, all walks of life, all over the world, and within five minutes, it feels like they've been your best bud your whole life. They were brought in with this opportunity to try something completely out of the box and uh, to see them uh, take a hold of it, grab it by the reins and ride it. Uh, it was pretty awesome, inspiring.